Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and I'm going to be starting a brand new series covering city skylines in anticipation of the DLC that was announced and slated to launch uh, sometime this winter. And to prepare for that DLC, I thought I would start a city build because it sounded like, from what I've read on the DLC, I haven't read that much, but what I've read that it's uh, what it's going to be about, it sounds like it would be a good idea to already have a city built. And I figured I'd cover that city build in a series because as much as I like playing this game, unless I'm covering a game in a series, it's hard for me to devote time to playing it. I put about 30 hours into the game, but... As much as that sounds like a lot, it really isn't that much for the way that the game plays. So I'm going to go ahead and start up the series. And like I usually do with some of my other series when I'm taking playing games, especially of this kind, I usually like to set myself a theme or a challenge. And the theme I'm going to go with is the fact that every intersection when I'm building a road has to be a roundabout. So I'm going to call this series, You Spin Me Right Round. And I think I'm going to use this map here because I want to maximize as much suitable area for building as possible. Give myself some nice flat terrain to build on so I'm not having too many issues with roundabout construction. As well as have a decent distribution of resources as well as connections to everything. So that was the main stipulations I had for this particular series. I know there are maps that have more usable land, but they might not have... Uh, all of the connections or all of the resources I'm looking for. So that's why I'm going to use this map, but having some rivers and, and, and water uh, that makes it so I can't build, obviously, it makes it a little bit more interesting as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start the map. Now, I'm not going to be using any mods, partly because I don't know what mods will be compatible with the DLC when it launches, and I don't want to have any issues when the DLC launches. I want to be able to jump right into the DLC from this city build into the DLC. So no mods, I'll just be playing the vanilla game. Now, that's going to make things quite challenging for me. Probably going to have some pop-ups here. First off, I haven't played the game in quite a while. It's probably been about six months. So I'm going to be a little bit on the rusty side, but also uh, without any mods, I'm going to have a uh, very limit, a lot of limitations early on, especially to roundabouts. So as you normally uh, start, you just build a little bit of road section here, and then it gives you access to more roads. I think what I'm going to do is just build a one way off of this. Now, I already did kind of a play test build, and I did run into a little bit of issues with money because of uh, not anticipating how much money I would have and the kind of money losses I'd have. And that particular <laughs> initial playthrough didn't go well. It was just a, you know, a test playthrough before I did the actual recording here. So I have to keep some things in mind so that I don't run out of money and run into the problems I did last time. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off of this highway a little bit at an angle. So I'm going to build, I think, a little bit of a curve that comes off like this. I'm going to make this curve a little bit more gentle, I think. And then make this curve a little harsher. That way, later on, when I upgrade these to highways, they won't get in, interfere with each other. At least that's the hope. So that's probably good there. And then I'm going to do my first roundabout. So right now, the only roundabout I have to work with is this one. And I could hand build a roundabout, but my ability to draw good circles with the tools that we have is a little bit on the limited side. So I'm going to go ahead, I think, build the roundabout about like that. Put it down there. Okay, and then what I'd like to do is, again, go back to my one ways. And I'm going to have to... I don't know if I like this kind of rough angle here, but I think it'll be okay. Go ahead and upgrade this little section to a one way. Upgrade this section to a one way. And I think I have to flip the one way around. 
So, let's go ahead and do that. That's going the right way. And then... Hmm. That might be a little too rough of an angle for what I'm going for. Eh, it might be okay. Okay. The other thing I want to make sure... Okay, we're going so that everything is a right turn. That's that's the ideal for me. And then I think what I'm going to do is come over to my bigger streets and upgrade those. At least the roundabout. And then... I think I'd like maybe these streets to be bigger. Now, I'm going to need water and utilities and things, and I might as well set those up now. Wait, which way does the river flow? I need to check that. Flows down that way. Okay. It's very important when you're putting in utilities, because you don't want your sewage running into your pumping station. Then everybody will get sick and die, and that's bad. A lot of people, when this game first came out, ran into that issue, I heard. And then we draw our lines connecting the two. And this will give us a lot of room for expansion later on. It will make the uh, hookup right now a little bit costly and complicated, but for the future, it will be good. Alright, so there's a bunch of things that I have to consider here. First, I'm going to need power generation. And... The tricky thing with this map is that the best wind is right here in the middle of the map, which is terrible for me um, because that's where I'm going to do most of my building. Over here, we don't have that much, but it does keep the costs for me lower. It's not as cost efficient. For instance, if I built this power plant, I could get more power, 40 megawatts, for the initial build cost. So the fact that I can't get the most efficient wind power is going to hurt early on. But I'm not really planning to build anything over here. And I think just cost-wise, I think I'm going to go with the windmills initially. They should also not have upkeep costs that the coal station is likely to have. Okay, so now that we have our power, and you're going to need lines that hook up the water. So we're good there. Alright, so our pumping station and sewage station should work. And now that I've got basic utilities worked out, now it's time to work out my actual build. So what I'm thinking about, as far as this build goes, is I'm going to work with a series of spokes. So every roundabout's going to have spokes that go off it at angles. And then we're going to have some main roundabouts that are going to go off or connect to those, those spokes. And then I'm going to have maybe some smaller hand-drawn roundabouts initially for like residential areas to fill out the space. Because one of the biggest problems that I'm going to have with this uh, roundabout build is just space efficiency. It's not going to be all that space efficient. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. And first I'm going to upgrade it. Now, I'm using these large uh, roads. They're more expensive, but they're pretty much the exact same size as medium roads. Now, it might be a good idea to do the medium roads now. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do the medium roads now because it will be more cost effective. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this, and then I'm going to build off of it. But later, it'll be easy to upgrade it to the, uh, the six lane because they're the same size, and I'm not going to have to worry about size issues. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come off straight. You know, I say that, but maybe I 
like, want to use space over here. Nah, that's all right. I'm just trying to think, do I want to have a roundabout over here or not? Probably would be a good idea, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then maybe I can do a spoke that goes this way to fill out that area. That's probably a good idea. So I'm just going to build that far. And then I'm going to build a roundabout that comes off. I'm going to have to change the angle here. Now there's a little bit of waste building the roundabouts the way I'm doing it. But we'll work on it. And then come over here. Go ahead and do my upgrades. I wasn't quite straight, but it will it will do. And I think this area here will be okay with just that smaller road. Because we're not going to have much room right now. As a matter of fact, I'm probably not going to do anything with that right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit fit much off of here. But the idea, is, I think, of what I'm going to do is grab the medium road. Now, the angle here isn't quite what I'm looking for, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a curve road. It's not going to be a super curve road, but I'm going to just curve it the slightest bit That'll do. Then we grab another roundabout. Put it... Right there. Okay, so this will be kind of a residential area. And... We'll go ahead and upgrade this connection here. Alright. How is my cost doing so far? I might end up bulldozing that because I don't know I don't know how much I like that particular spoke, but I could always do a spoke that comes off an angle like that, or a spoke that comes over here. Alright, well in any case. That's one residential area down. Now I have to think about. getting some future building going on, so... Go ahead and upgrade the... Oops, I was on the bulldoze. That's not what I wanted to do. My bad. Alright, the trick here, though, is I want to want this street to come off like a spoke at an angle. And I'm going to want it to meet up with a roundabout that comes off of here. So let's just build up like that for now. Let's just see. Placement of roundabout. Probably want the roundabout to be about there. That looks like it comes together nicely. All right, how am I doing on money? Not too bad so far. And we just draw that to that. Upgrade that. And... Oh, crap. I did one ways. Whoopsies. This is just me not being used to the interface, and I probably just wasted money doing that. What I wanted to do is do this as the upgrade first, and I just kind of missed out. All right. Then do this connection. Okay. I think this is a good starter. 
gives me some area to work with, area to build residences off of. Let's go ahead and think about the residential areas and getting the best use of my space. So, if I get a little two-street, two-lane street here, and I build it curved again, Well, no, it doesn't necessarily have to be curved. Let's see, we're going around that way. Hmm. Yeah, see, I don't like this angle here. I could have a street that comes off here, but this is a more main intersection. I don't like the idea of doing that. So this might just, this might just be an area we don't use over here. Instead, I think I'll have a spoke that comes off like that. And I made you another spoke over here, but for now, I think that's going to be the residential area. So, let's grab the power. Draw it over here. And I'll put it right there. That should be good. And I'll put my first residential area in there. And then we also need the water. So coming from here, I'm going to go to you here, then to here. And if you're looking for the most efficient build from me, you're not going to get it. I mostly play this game. To have fun. And I'm probably not the most efficient builder. But I'll try and get it close. Is it saying I don't have a l electricity connection? It's just taking time. Okay, yeah, it's just taking time for it all to hook up. There we go. Alright, so as soon as I get this house moving in, which it looks like it's just done, I'll just kind of go around. I prefer this. And we'll just bring the electricity around. I think I'm just going to go ahead and mark the entire area in the middle. Now, normally I wouldn't do this, but this is kind of a more residential area, so... I think it's a little bit more fine. Or it's it's more acceptable to do it like this. We're going to have to fill in as much as we can here. Because the first task that I am given is 500 population. Which again, with the space concerns that we have, or space efficiency concerns we have, may be a little tricky. I'm mostly just going to focus on this area in here initially, around this circle. And I can build more of these residential roundabouts as I go. I just kind of cram this one into the corner. I could also do residences all along here, but I might want to do some shopping or something like that. We'll see uh, what demands come up. Now, I'm going to be losing money, so the one thing I'm probably going to want to do, just to be on the safe side, is get water flowing to everywhere I could conceivably build. So I'm going to go ahead and go down this street here. We're at there. I don't think we're going to have anything being built over here because that's the highway li lane or line. Um, I guess we could also start building roundabouts and stuff over here. Like this here looks like an obvious intersection. So 
go back over the roads, grab a roundabout, and just kind of approximate where that connection is going to be. It doesn't have to be a perfect setup. It looks like about here is where we want it. And then go ahead and take my medium roads. First, upgrade the connections. Actually, I want my one ways. Did I just do it again? No, I didn't. Okay. Upgrade that, and that, and that. And then we go to the build. Be a relatively straight line. And this should be a relatively straight line. There we go. So there's our roundabout connection. Kind of wasted space in here and here, but again, that's going to be the biggest problem with this particular playthrough. Now, I can do spokes that come off here, but I have to be careful that they don't... Con uh, well, they could connect and go from here to here, I guess. That might cause traffic issues, though. I do have to keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and get make sure we have water connections. For this area as well. This is kind of the point where I'm just, I think I'm going to keep building. Because the experience I had in my uh, test playthrough was you lose a lot of money initially. And you get to a point where even though you might have saved four or $5,000, it all d disappears and then you run into problems. So I'd prefer to have the infrastructure built and then deal with the losses because zoning doesn't cost any money. Okay. I think the game plan here is kind of use this area as like your the main spoke. So we're going to have a lot of these smaller roundabouts lead into this. But then, like, the residential areas will be off of that. So we'll have residences in here. We'll have stuff over here, industry and stuff. And we can put shops and things along these, like, connecting roads. But I think what I'm going to do is just kind of find my angle here. And then just draw that out. And then kind of figure out where I want the next roundabout. Uh, that might be a little bit too harsh of an angle. But we can make it work. Find my next roundabout. Let's say about there. Go back to my roads. Upgrade the roundabout. Now eventually I'll upgrade these so that they're a uh, highway which will take away the traffic stop. But I don't have highway uh, available right now, so I'm just going to have to make do. And we come over here, upgrade that and that. And then go to the lines so we can draw. Ooh, and we run out of money. So we're not going to be quite able to finish this connection. So I'm just not going to worry about it. But what I am going to do is see about... Water connections, I think we're pretty much good. Let's see if I can get a two-lane road going from here to here. Even if I can't get it going in from there to there, I might just draw it out anyway so that we can get some residences in there. So, I'm going to do a curve off of this Brought out to about there. Okay, so it only lets me come to... Hmm. Doesn't let me come out quite as far as I, I would like. I 
think I'm going to come to you there. And that's going to be it. That's as much as I can afford for now. So it gives me some zoning options. And hopefully it works out. But as you can see, we're just losing money, losing money. So if I hadn't done all that building, I would have lost all the money I would have been doing the building with anyway. So far, we're not having really any issues with water or the zoning. We're going to start needing shopping. And I already hooked up all the water here, so it shouldn't be too hard to find the shopping. I think I'm going to go ahead and make all of this area residential as well. To advance the electricity line because I can't build lines now. Which may be a problem, to be honest with you. Getting power from here to there. What I might do is I might put stores and this circle, at least temporarily, to bring power to the other areas. And then maybe I'll make uh, this area here industrial, or, you know, I can do a whole bunch of uh, things, honestly. But as long as we've got every the water utilities where we're going to be zoning, we should be okay. Okay. But they're starting to want stores and industry for you know, jobs. I'm gonna go ahead, come in here, and just put in some small stores to kind of bring the power along. And what I might do is once those get built in. Build a store here, then build a store here. And then we could put industrial stuff over here because the power will have gotten across. And we already have water there, so. Just gotta wait until something builds in. I could also build stores in the center. Which again, we could remove later, so it's not the end of the world. I'll just do that much for now. And hope the store is there. We go. We got our first store right there. Which should transfer the power in a little bit. Looks like we got a couple more stores. Got one there. Go ahead and continue zoning here. Zone the rest of the middle. So if we have any stores fill in in the middle... I should be able to transfer the power. All right. Still, all, you know, not getting enough taxes to sustain everything. And as far as power goes, we've got 16 watts of electricity, megawatts. We're only using three. Uh-oh. Oh, the homes haven't come over yet. Well, that's a problem. Here, I'll dezone some areas. Make sure if any homes come in, they come in where I want them to. So preferably over here. So I did build this a little bit too soon. And I don't have the money to get the electricity, unfortunately. Although it looks like we have a home coming in. Perfect. That will help. All we need is another home maybe here and we'll get the power through. As a matter of fact, I may dezone over here just to kind of force that maybe. Alright, so hopefully we get a home coming in. Oh good, power came in. Alright, good. I, I'm going to go ahead and rezone areas. That I just dezoned. Because that's the tricky part right there. Is getting 
power everywhere I need it. Alright. Now we have to worry about industry, now that we have the shops. Okay, so... I haven't quite gotten a power across the street, which is bad. I don't remember having this much issue with this in past playthroughs, but again, I wasn't doing everything as a roundabout uh, like I'm doing now. I may just be able to get a store in here across the power. Alright, so what's our population looking like? 167. And we haven't quite filled this area in yet. We've got future expansion possibilities over here. But once I get Industrial Row built, which I I think I'm going to build that here. Um, we should be doing a little bit better. The only reason I haven't started building industry yet... I'm just a little bit concerned with power transfer. But you know what? I might be able to get away with it if I just start it in this corner here. So if something pops up in here, I might get the power transfer I'm looking for. Hmm. All right. There we go. Perfect. And now that we've got that, I feel a little bit more confident continuing to draw the zoning out. Then once we get the industry in, we should be golden. Uh, industry will pay off pretty well. You know, now that I think about it, let me take a look at... Do we even have the ability to take a look at the resources yet? I don't think I can, actually. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's just go ahead and zone this whole area. I'm gonna make all of this industry. It will pollute. But, that's okay. We're kind of keeping it away from our residential areas. Probably keep shopping in here and maybe over here as a buffer. I think I'm going to go ahead and dezone this. Okay. <laughs> Quadcopters being used for deliveries. As a matter of fact, I think this is a good point for me to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So we've got our initial start. Things are, you know, a little rocky in the start. But now that we've got the industry in and we're going to start getting more residences filled in, we'll get that population up. We'll stop losing money. And I think we'll be in a good position. So in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.